afternoon ladies and gentlemen it's your boy Shao King and I'm back with another video and in this video we're going to talk about uh, NFP so this is an NFP technical analysis where we are going to forecast the outcome of NFP okay so right now uh, we are looking at gold from the daily time frame now let's put everything into question let's analyze gold in all the ways possible with everything that we've got and everything that we know right now we are going to start with a channeling strategy okay we're going to use channeling which is which includes trend line trading uh breakout and retest and then it also includes support and resistances and so on and then we are going to use uh the fibonacci retracement tool to mark possible entry zones okay and then we are going to use the candlestick strategy to see if we can get the most accurate reading technically speaking now fundamentally speaking i'm not sure about the results yet because it has not yet been released now let's start with the most accurate analysis for xau usd for today so the first things first you're going to get you're on the daily time frame you're going to get your parallel channel too you're going to draw it from the bottom to the top okay and then once it's like this you're going to stretch it all the way up okay to the top as well and then you're going to you're going to bring it down okay so now you have your first ascending channel and as you can see price was smoothly moving within this channel okay uh, so once this is done you're going to draw the counter trend channels okay so this one is one all right this is a a, a, a counter trend channel because the main trend is the buy trend so the any channel within this channel that is selling we call it counter trend so this is one and then this is the second one okay from the top okay this one we're going to draw it like this and then to the bottom okay so now you have one two this is a continuation channel because it still indicates buying momentum okay now we have to go on smaller time frames which is like the four hour to conduct a better technical analysis because we still have a channel here so let's go on the four hour right now all right uh, we are on the four hour time frame and we have another channel here this is one okay all right another continuation channel and then we can go on to the one hour time frame just so that you're able to see let's see what happens here So on the one hour we still have a channel here so this one here is a channel although there was a breakout and the spike this is a channel continuation okay okay so this is a channel all right now let's quickly stretch it a bit just make sure that we have enough visible space and then we can draw another channel but let me see if i can go to the two hour time frame i believe it's the best Two hours for us to do this okay so on the two hour we can clearly see that we have another ascending channel but it's very steep and the rules are that if you are on a steep uptrend channel the chances of that channel lasting are very slim so for today during the news we, we can expect two outcomes either a continuation to the upside of this channel okay which means if it continues to the upside of this channel, we're looking at 2740, so 2000, uh, $2,740. Now, within this, we have another channel, which is a counter trend channel, okay? Gave the sellers a bit of opportunity there. So this is one of them, okay? And then I have to draw it. I can draw the large one, which is this one. Okay, this is the large one, or the micro. So I can go to one hour again and then draw this one as well, okay? So I can draw from the top to the bottom. And then this is one we have. This was the last one that was recently formed. Now, according to the previous counter trend channel, every time a counter trend channel appeared, what happened next was a long bullish movement upward, okay? So now we have two one and then this one because if you go in depth 
you'll realize that the market moves in channels all right this is one of them all right we have another one here okay this is the best strategy you can use anywhere anytime this is one okay there's one here so let's just quickly focus on here so now we are here this is the current most important zone all right i believe that price is going to do this for nfp okay it could drop a little bit more just for liquidity sake okay so price did this came here retested went up came back might retest okay might do a long retest which could come around here and then bounce all the way up so this is a possibility all right this is not uh it's, it's actually a probability it's not certain as of yet so this and this and this and this and then most likely come and test this area okay and then push up if it doesn't do this all right if price doesn't do this if price doesn't do this it will then just continue from here so from where it is it will just continue until here okay so this is one of the outcomes all right and then if i have to mark a zone this area here will be my zone okay this area here will be my zone of entry in case it decides to drop during the news this will be my zone of entry and my possible stop loss will be here all you have to do is make sure that your stop loss is below this okay because if you look if i draw this line okay if i continue to push it and then if i push this channel as well all lines lead to this line okay they cross here they cross here and they cross here so this is a very important zone and once price breaks below if price breaks below this line there's nothing here that can stop price from dropping all the way to here okay so i believe that the bulls will not allow price to drop here so this is when we are using the channeling tool you can clearly see that everything makes sense based on this theory all right this is theory one okay uh, let me just see what's up my phone is blowing up okay yeah sorry so this is the first theory okay now let's let's move on to other probabilities okay uh, and i'm sorry for the background noise that you're hearing uh that's my son i apologize for that uh So let's move let's move okay so if you were to use um, now let's say where would price go to okay so first you would use this one as your first take profit target 26 73 and then um, 26 85 and then 26 uh, I mean 27 12 and then uh, 2740 that would be your last one now this is once again a probability all right it's a probability and if we look carefully a channel is being created so if i push this and do this sorry I actually do this i can do this using parallel channel 2 then i can actually go like uh so from here right this is the bottom to here and then put it here i will have another ascending channel so this would be the second touch on the ascending channel and then possibly possibly push up now this is a lot for you to pros uh to process right this is a lot of information for you to process but this is my view on gold technically speaking all right the worst case scenario would be price would then just push up during push down during nfp and if it breaks our entry zone it's okay we'll just wait because then it would want to take liquidity of the zone and then if it reaches here we also wait a bit once we start getting 
uh, reversal indications all right if we start getting reversal indications here double bottoms we can buy or heads and shoulders we can continue to buy uh, or here at the bottom so let's wait for this to, to play out now let's go for part two okay part two let me just I want it to be one video so it's okay so for part two we will have to open another USD chart let me just see if I'm able to do this here okay so this was my yeah I can I can remove this one it's fine I've been using this one for these days it's okay I have another one so if I remove this our most uh, accurate strategy right now is this one so let's go to the weekly time frame quickly and then on the weekly we'll mark the following so we are on the weekly time frame we're going to mark the previous weekly high okay so it's this one so we'll mark it as the previous week weekly high okay p yes p w h and then the previous weekly low so it will be p v l w l now we have both of them here and we will mark the open the previous weekly open which was here okay so this was previous weekly open open but it was actually for buy position because the candle is bullish so I'll put bullish and then the previous weekly closed right where price is at sorry so it will be previous weekly close and this was still bullish all right so that's the previous weekly close now what are we expecting we are expecting this weekly candle to this week's weekly candle to either close below because it doesn't it cannot close like that guys i want you to understand this price cannot close where it is it either has to take out the high or the low and since it already failed to take the low when price reached here now it's trying it reached almost you know it's trying to get to the to the high to the previous weekly high we expect price to hit the previous weekly high so let's try to make maintain our focus on that now for today's trading session we'll have to go on the daily okay we'll have to go on the daily uh, but before that since today's Friday anyway I can mark the low this week's low so it will be this this is this week's low so it will be weekly L so weekly low bullish it's still bullish all right and then this week's weekly high also bullish okay so until now everything is perfect bullish 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 no problem the candle hasn't yet closed it closes in 11 hours we're having nfp anything can happen anything can happen so this is our trading range or our main focus this is where we're going to maintain our focus let me just take a screenshot of this so that i can remember this day okay now we move to the daily time frame and on the daily time frame what we are looking for is definitely bullish market structure because on the long run gold has been bullish okay so based on the previous strategy if we just do something simple right no no stress no hustle we just grab the parallel channel tool. we try to maintain our focus on a bullish trend for now just like this okay Let's try to understand that we are in a bullish trend for a very long time and we will try to look for bullish movements. Now, anything can happen because 
price is currently trending uh, basically sideways in this channel okay so this is what price is doing and at this point during NFP anything can happen because price is, is rejected once twice and then this is the third time so price could simply just drop and then end up landing here or because we have or just because we have a flag okay just because we have this here we could expect price to move up like this okay we could expect this to happen this is my prediction for gold okay I'm expecting this type of move on gold I don't know what else you guys are expecting but this is my prediction on gold on the daily time frame now if we go to the lower time frame what can we look for so let me just remove this and this and this so on the daily time frame let me remove this as well on the daily time frame our main focus is on the stop loss now the st our stop loss and our indication is basically yesterday's daily candle so this is yesterday's daily candle here okay that's yesterday's daily candle all right Alright, sorry. So that's yesterday's daily candle. This is the daily low. We just have to mark that as the daily low. Daily low. This is the daily low. And then we'll have to mark yesterday's daily high. So it will be previous DL. Okay. Uh, sorry previous daily daily high and then previous daily low PDL all right now 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 that you have this you need to understand that your stop loss can only be okay so let me say stop loss for the news can only be below here or if you want to be a bit conservative it can be here okay so okay so let me just type this I have to type it sorry yeah so these are your possible stop losses okay so these are your possible stop losses because if you are buying or if you look to buy if you're in a buy position right now what you could be expecting is this when news pops up it could spike down all right somewhere around here if it hits your stop loss you're out and then it possibly go up but if it doesn't because of all the rejection here you see how many times it has rejected it actually rejected diagonally basically okay so it has rejected in in an order if you if you look at it carefully it is rejected in an order the same way it has rejected above in the same manner you see the rejection all right so it rejected up here it rejected more times low now we have to figure out where price will take now since the the, the most recent rejection was this one okay after taking out the previous daily candle okay actually we can say this is the previous daily candle low high right but in this case this was 
the daily high or open this was the open okay the daily open happened here okay so this was the previous daily high now the open of this candle happened exactly here around this level this level I mean sorry so if price pushes upwards if price pushes upwards we could be expecting something like this all right so this is our prediction for today let's wait and see what happens on the lower time frames let me just remove this the lower time frames we could we could just expect okay so immediately once you see this this bullish candle turns this daily bullish candle turns bearish i think it's best you leave the market and just watch it don't enter any trades okay because you see this level here should be a clear indication that price is just coming for a retest of the zone or of the structure okay so this level here now if price okay my trading rule is like this okay we will be looking to enter at this level this is where we'll be looking to enter and our stop losses will be there entry position like this and take profit targets will be here All right. So this is what I am expecting. Um, let me see. So I'm expecting a push to the downside and then a retest and breakout. So there was breakout, retest, continuation. Okay. We can expect something like this. Now let me take a screenshot with, of this because I have to send it to some people who are also waiting for me to help. <clears throat> okay, so this is my view of the market. Now all I have to do is remove all these lines. And if you know, you know. And then we wait. There's nothing else we can do here. We can just put this here. This one is this one. This one is this one. Then the rest is history. We just wait. Okay. Thank you. Like and subscribe to my channel and let's wait for NFT.